A Korean immigrant facing deportation in Orange County is pleading for a pardon after turning his life around. Justin Chung immigrated to the U.S. as a baby and admits that he did make some bad choices as a teen. And after serving 14 years behind bars, he says ICE now wants to send him back to a country he does not know. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang has the story from Buena Park. He works for this church in Buena Park. Today, members held a news conference to vouch for his character and his service to the community. Their message for the governor, he's already served his time. Now Justin Chung, who came to the U.S. as a baby, faces deportation, and his supporters consider this double punishment. Thank you for coming. A small church in Buena Park is rallying around one of their members, Justin Chung, and urging the governor to sign a pardon that would allow Chung to stay in the U.S. Chung served 14 years in prison for murder and attempted murder, crimes he committed when he was a teenager. When I was 16 years old, I was involved with the wrong crowd and I was involved in a gang related shooting and unfortunately somebody did die and that's something I live with for the rest of my life but I am not the same person. Chung's initial sentence of 82 years to life was commuted and he was released about two years ago. Chung, who came to this country from South Korea at the age of two, was taken into ICE custody and now faces possible deportation. He and his supporters have circulated a petition and are fighting for him to stay. He was released. He paid his debt to society. One of his supporters, Irvine City Council member Tammy Kim, who also works with Korean Community Services. I, I don't see why someone like him, who has done nothing but good service after uh, being rehabilitated, should be deported to a country that he does not know. Onesimus Pastor Su Kim says Chung is now working to help youth stay away from gangs. Through Bible College and the ministry, she gave a uh, Spirit a good uh, influence to many inmates, you know, yeah, in a prison. He influences a lot of inmates in prison. Yes, yes, good. Chung says this is his home. If I was born in America, I would not be facing deportation. But because I was born in a different country, I'm facing uh, essentially a double punishment. It does happen. Um, I got pardoned under Governor Brown. At the end of the day, it's about punishment. You know, the system has already said and invested enough to say this person is rehabilitated to release somebody. And then at the end of the day, they don't hold true to that. Chung and his supporters have collected thousands of signatures on a petition on change.org. They're planning another rally before his next ICE check-in in, in mid-August. In Buena Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.